Hi, and welcome to another edition of Easy Theory. So we just proved that every regex can be converted into an NFA, so let's do an example. So here is an example. So let's have the, and I'm going to make this totally off the cuff. So let's say we have A union B uh, parens with C concatenated with it. So notice the concatenation happening right here. And star the whole thing. And the reason I want to do this is that we highlight all three of the operations that are used. Okay, so here's what I would recommend. So notice that the definition of regex is very inductive. So what I recommend is work on the smallest cases first and then start building and building and building and building until you get the whole thing. So what are the smallest pieces of this regex? Well, they could either be the empty string, the empty set, or a single character. There are no empty sets or empty strings in here. So what I'm going to do is, well, well, there are plenty of single characters. So let's actually make a small NFA for each one of them. So we, following the recipe, what we need, just need to do is to make a little NFA like this for A and make one for B, B, and this one for C. So they're all almost exactly the same apart from the transition. Okay, so now let's actually, so this is where uh, colors help. Let's actually do A union B here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat the thing on the left and the right of the union as a black box. I'm not thinking anything about what they contain. I'm just focused on union right here. So remember the recipe for union was to take the NFAs for the two smaller pieces, make a brand new start state that epsilon transitions into the, into the start states of both. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do A union B. So I'm going to copy and paste the two NFAs that I have right here for uh, on either side of the union, which are going to be the one that we have for A, and at some point I'm going to do a copy and paste, but I just want to do this at least once. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a new start state that epsilon transitions to the old start states. Okay, so I could um, make this a lot more simple. It is possible to make this simpler, but I want this to be an algorithmic process that always works for every regex, and so I don't have to think about it. Okay, I don't like having to think about things. I want things to be automatic whenever possible. Okay, so that's good. Um, and if you have any questions, put them in the comments, uh, and I'll answer them quickly. Uh, let's do this part right here and ignore the star. So here we have two pieces, the stuff right here and this other regex right here. So one regex, here's the other regex, and they're concatenated together. So remember, again, we're going to do this inductively. I'm going to treat each of the two pieces as being a black box, and I'm not going to think about it. All I'm focused on is concatenation right here. So how did concatenation go? Concatenation worked by taking the two NFAs for the two regexes, making the final state of the first one, the order matters, the first one no longer final, and have those states epsilon transition to the start state of the second one. Again, order matters. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this one. So notice that this one that I'm copying is first in the concatenation here. Concatenation, the order does matter. For union, it does not matter, but for uh, concatenation, it does matter. Okay, so that's the first one, and now I'm going to put the second regex in, which is C. So this is going to be a very colorful thing. Epsilon to here. And what I'm going to do, of course, following the recipe, the only final states are these two right here. So I'm going to make them no longer final, and they're going to epsilon transition over to the uh, next star state. 
Okay. Yeah. So again, I could have made this. Oh, th that's not epsilon. <laughs> Oops, that was my mistake. I thought way ahead. That's C. Yeah. So th that's just something to keep in mind. Again, this could have been made a lot simpler. It, you could have collapsed this and to make it a much smaller uh, NFA. That's totally possible. But I want this to be algorithmic. Okay. So then the only thing left is to do the, maybe I should label this. So this is A union B concatenated with C. So then now let's handle the star. So again, the stuff on the inside of the parentheses I'm going to treat as a black box. I'm not going to have to, I'm not thinking about what's on the inside. I'm only focused on the star. So remember how star worked. We had to, so here's the NFA, whatever it looked like. We make a brand new start state that is a final state. This start state in, in, in here may or may not be final. I'm not changing whatever it is. And then we have epsilon transitions coming out to this state, or it could have been this one, but here for this purpose, I'm going to go to this state. So here, I'm going to uh, have A union B concatenated with C, whole thing starred. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this big boy down here. Paste. And then now I'm going to make that uh, green state out here. That's a final state. And it's going to epsilon its way to the old start state. And every final state over in this thing will epsilon transition back to that brand new start state. Well, the only one is... Oops. Uh, the only one is this one right here. And I'm not changing whether it's final or not. So here it's going to slide over to there. And now we've actually made an NFA for this regex. So again, I'm not thinking about this as um, I can make this simpler. I'm thinking about this as an algorithmic process to make this as simple as possible to do the conversion. I'm not focused on the size of the NFA at the end. I'm focused on making the process easy. Another thing that a lot of my students miss and you shouldn't miss is suppose that I have the regex um, AB like this. So let's just say R, the regex R is AB. Uh, put into the comments, well, what do you think this NFA will look like? So uh, this is something my students miss uh, all the time. And I want you to actually think about it. What does the NFA for this regex look like? Okay. Note, there's a, a concatenation that it occurs right here. Okay. So uh, thank you. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. And as always, I'll see you next time.